Interventions for Persistent Pain, Lesson 1. The Pain Truth and Nothing But video transcript and workbook is required for this section, but you may download the relevant pages from this course. Step number one, view the Pain Truth video number three again. Number two, read how to complete your weekly calendar. Step number three, read Controlling Your Thoughts. Happiness is a state of activity, quoted by Aristotle. So the goal of this program to is to have the patient outline all the activities that they wish to do and at the end of each day outline the activities that they did. Basically, you're asked to list all the activities that they consider as fun or sim, which means safety in me, or healthy that you have done. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Take a few minutes and look at these sample activities. You can see they range from doing something for you know, 10 minutes, eating a fruit is considered something good, playing an instrument, doing the laundry is considered a positive activity, mindfulness breathing for five minutes is a positive activity. And at way at the bottom, the last line is, did you write down your dims, stresses today for 10 minutes? The goal is to just confront the stresses and write them down. There's no need to fix anything that's stressful in life because often we don't have control in various stresses in life. But we just need to acknowledge them and that's what's important. And some days they may say, yes, I wrote them. And some days they may say, no. But the goal is to write yes in the majority of the days. Controlling your thoughts is essential for recovery. If you catch yourself with a negative self-talk, become aware of it and consciously change the self-talk to a positive one. Replace, I'm never going to get better with some days are better than others, but overall, I'm getting better. Replace, I have a bad neck and back with, I have a healthy neck and back. They're just sensitive now. Replace, I can't do anything because of my pain with, what can I still do despite my pain? This is far from an abstract concept. The brain is very good at answering questions that are asked from it. For instance, if you ask your brain, what is wrong with my life? It will list several answers to accurately answer your negative question. On the other hand, if you ask your brain, what is great in my life? Your brain will be forced to make a list to answer that question for you. This is different than the law of attraction concept. There's nothing mystical or magical about this. It's as simple as asking your brain, what's two plus two? Your brain will have a difficult time coming up with any other answer other than four. You can try to force yourself and change your answer and say, two plus two equals seven. But deep down you will know that your answer is not true. How is this relevant to your recovery? The questions we ask ourselves determine the answers our brain looks for and finds. Ask your brain every day, why am I still in pain? And it can list 20 answers based on your knowledge and everything you've been told by your doctors, therapists, and unfortunately the internet. Ask your brain every day, why am I getting better and better? And your brain is forced to come up with reasons to prove you right. When you look at the calendars in the upcoming six weeks, make a point of asking yourself the five positive questions. What three fun activities can I do today? What two physical activities can I do today? What three household chores and errands can I do today? What two relaxing activities can I do today? And finally, why am I so good at managing my stress? You must start asking yourself and your brain positive questions on a daily basis. This is not optional if your goal is to get better. Step number four in the week one of the Pain Truth program is to complete your ideal week calendar as much as possible. And step number five is to complete the week one calendar. The ideal week calendar or the wish list looks like this and you don't have to complete it all in one day. You have actually five weeks to complete it. However, at the bottom of it, which is very important, there to write one stressful issue or danger in me that you wish to acknowledge by week six. And, but you keep asking yourself, why am I so good at managing my stress? And week one, two, three, four, five, six, they all have pretty much the exact same calendar. 
and they ask themselves the five questions that we've already covered. Lesson two of this program will review the actions required to complete week two of the Pain Truth program. I look forward to seeing you on week two of the program.